Dear Diary, <clears throat> I mean journal. Today, I am documenting the account of one investigation I have no natural explanation to. Out of all the investigations I've conducted, this is the first without natural evidence. However, I must warn you, my explanation may not satisfy you. It first began in the small town of Ajaccio. The townspeople were in a flurry over a new man who moved into the town. This peculiar man, who brought with him a servant, isolated himself in his little home, only going out to hunt and fish. Numerous rumors were built around, and so it was my job to discover the truth about him. One afternoon, I saw him outside in his yard, so I seized the opportunity and confronted him. Hi there. Good afternoon. Can I uh, offer you a drink? Yeah, I'd love one. This way. Nice place you have here. Thank you. So you're from England? I just came to England to hunt big game. I'm not actually from there. What's that over there? That is my most prized trophy. It's the hand of my greatest enemy. Why is it all tied up? On occasion it tries to escape. I thought to myself, this man is crazy. How can a dead hand get up and leave? But noticing the serious expression on his face, I did not question him. Furthermore, I noticed he seemed to keep weapons within arm's reach at all times, as if he was expecting to defend himself. Some time passed, and the community eventually lost interest in the Englishman. A year passed when my secretary came to me saying the Englishman had been murdered. Lieutenant. Detective. I'm just going to let you know it's not pretty seen there. So, you guys ready? Yeah. Upon arriving at the scene, I noticed him laying in the middle of the floor on his back. It appeared he had been strangled. I noticed right away that the finger looked familiar. That's when it hit me. A cold shiver ran down my spine. The hand was gone. Then the investigation began. Nothing could be discovered. No broken windows. No forced doors. Nothing. About three months after the investigation, the hand was brought to me, discovered on the very grave of the Englishman. The hand was missing a finger. To this day, my explanation of this murder is that the very owner of the hand had returned and killed the poor Englishman. This may not satisfy you, but did I not warn you earlier? to be a foreign object. In Wait, the hole. sorry. I <laughs> <laughs> saw the cigarette. <laughs> okay, sorry.